Hey guys, how's it going? It's John from The Machine Shop. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use analog inputs on an Arduino. So in a previous video, we looked at using digital inputs. Today, we're going to have a look at using analog inputs. And you're thinking, well, hang on, what's the difference? A digital input is a bit like a light switch where it's either off or it's on. An analog input is a bit like a dimmer switch where, you know, you can sort of turn the light down a bit or turn it up a bit and change the voltage. So analog is basically a change in voltage over time, whereas digital is either off or it's on. Okay, so we're going to look at analog inputs. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay, so an analog input could be anything just like a voltage that you want to read into your Arduino, or it might be uh, a sensor, like a light sensor or a temperature sensor. Um, anything that's got like varying in voltage. So I've got a variable resistor here sat on my breadboard. So this little thing here. Basically what this is, is if you imagine you've got a resistor on your circuit. Now it's got an extra pin, which looks like this. This is known as the sweep. So what I could do is I could put 5 volts here. I could make this ground. And then depending on where this line, basically imagine the resistor going up and down uh, this the, the resistance right so if I'm more if I'm higher up I'm gonna get a larger voltage out of it and if I'm further down I'm gonna get a lower voltage out of it so as I sweep through my voltage is going to change okay now what I've got here is I've got my NI my DAC plugged in I'm gonna use this as an oscilloscope today and I've got my Arduino Uno here so we'll look at doing some code on the Arduino Uno um, to get it to read the actual input. So first of all, let me show you. I'm going to plug in my oscilloscope here. I'm going to show you what the output looks like on this device. Now, what I do need to do is I need to supply it this 5 volts. I'm going to use my Arduino Uno for that. Okay, so the arrangement on my potentiometer is you've got pin 1 is going to be this one. The sweep is going to be in pin 2, and the ground is going to be pin 3. So pin 1 is 5 volts, which is yellow. Pin 2 is the sweep, which is orange, and then pin 3 is ground, which is green. So it goes around that way. And I'm going to plug them into my breadboard here. Okay, power light's still on on the Arduino, so that's good. I'm just going to vary. Basically what this is, is I've lost my screwdriver, there it is. Um, what I can do is I can turn the little dial on the top here, and what that's doing is it's moving that sweep pin between closer to 5 volts or closer to ground. So if I turn it all the way down, that would be closer to ground, so I should get no voltage out of that. And as I turn it all the way up, that would be closer to 5 volts, so I'd get 5 volts out. And in between would give me a voltage in between. Okay, so what I've got here is, on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see my uh, NI my DAC oscilloscope. So what you'll be able to see is, as I increase the dial, here on my potentiometer, you can see that red line increasing. So that's basically giving me my analog voltage coming out of my potentiometer, going up and down like that. That looks excellent. So there we go. I've got a nice analog voltage coming out of there. Now, obviously, we want to get this to go into the Arduino so we can do something with it. So let's have a look at a bit of code. So here we are. We're in Arduino. So what we need to do, first of all, is tell our pin that it's going to be an input. So pin mode with a capital M, pin mode, and we've got the pin plugged into A0, so that is actually pin zero. Okay, and then I need to set that as an input. So then in my loop here, I need to get it to read that value. So I'm gonna set up an integer. I'm gonna call it uh, analog value, okay? And I'm gonna equal that. Now, can you remember in the previous videos, if you haven't seen that, I'll put up the thing just there, if you haven't seen the really previous videos. We're going to do an analog read. Can you remember in the one we did before, we did an analog write to be able to get our PWM signal out and get an analog output? We want an analog input, so analog read. So that equals analog read with a capital R, and then we tell it what pin it is, so pin zero. So this function here, this analog read, is going to return a value between 0 and 1023, depending upon where that voltage is between 0 and 5 volts, on the Arduino Uno anyway. So what that's going to do is just return it into this analog value. Now, we can't see that at the moment, so we need to do something with it. Now, if you remember back to my previous video, we did uh, an analog output 
So let's implement that. So here I'm going to do a analog right. And I'm going to use, what pin am I going to use? I'll use the same one as we did in the other video, pin 11. Okay, and I want that to be my analog value. Now, obviously, to use pin 11, we need to set up our pin. So we've got a uh, pin mode, pin 11, and I need that to be an output. So we've got our input and we've got our output. Now, one thing, if you can remember, the smart ones of you will go, hang on a minute, John. You told us that to do an analog write is between 0 and 255. Yet, technically, you could be sending it a value which is between 0 and 1,023. You are absolutely correct. That's because the analog input is 10-bit, whereas the analog output is 8-bit. So we need to do a little bit of a conversion. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the same value, analog uh, value, and I'm going to make it equal. We're going to use a function here called map. And what map can do is it can take uh, a range of numbers and convert them into a different range of numbers. So we'll do map. We tell it where the number is coming from, which is analog value. And then we tell it the first range. So that's 0 to 1,023. Then we tell it the second range, 0 to 20, 255. So what that's going to do is here it's going to call the function map. That's going to get the value from here which is the value of analog read. So it could be 1,023. And then what it's going to do is it's going to convert the value. It's basically going to do a conversion between this range and this range. So if we put 1,023 in here, we should get the value 255 back out. That's then going to go into analog value. And then we're going to do an analog write to pin 11 with that new value. So that should be all we need to do to be able to get an analog input and convert it to an analog output. So what I need to do on here is set up the same circuit we had in that previous video. Remember using our capacitor and our resistor to make that low pass filter. So let's do that. Okay, so I need my capacitor to go between my ground signal. There we go, so I'm using the same ground. Remember that was green that I've got plugged into the Arduino. Then I need my resistor to go between my capacitor and then I need a signal to come out of my Arduino. So I was using pin 11. So I'm going to plug this wire into pin 11, which is that one there. And then I'm going to plug that into the resistor. So my new analog output here is actually this point here where we've got our resistor. So here, again, we've got our circuit here. It's got our analog output. That's going to the Arduino on pin A0. And then on pin 11, we've got a resistor going to a capacitor. That's going down to ground. And then this one is our new output. I'm going to send that to my other input on my oscilloscope. Uh, on my oscilloscope, that's called A1. A1. Okay. So I'm actually going to, this one's actually called A0 on my oscilloscope as well, that's very handy. So I'm going to read both at the same time and see if we get the correct output. So let's get this one here. I need to ground my second input on my capacitor. Got loads of grounds going on here. And I need to be monitoring my new output, which is the point in between the capacitor and the resistor there. So that's that bit there. Okay, so we've got this all wired up. Uh, let's load our new program onto my Arduino or have a look on our oscilloscope to see if that's going to work. So here we are, we're back in Arduino. Let's load this onto our Arduino Uno. There we go, so we're uploading our program. Done uploading, excellent. Okay, so now we've got our program loaded into our Arduino. So up here, you can see my view here of what I'm doing with the potentiometer. Over on the far left, you can see the oscilloscope output, and in the middle is our Arduino code that we wrote. So if I increase the value of my potentiometer here, what I should see on my oscilloscope is the red signal. So you can see it, sh it shows red there, is the output from my potentiometer. There is actually a blue signal in there as well. You might just be able to see it. That's the output from the Arduino. So it's actually perfectly mirroring what I'm doing with my um, potentiometer, which means 
that it's accurately reading the value that I've got for my potentiometer and accurately outputting the value as an analog voltage output, so much so that my oscilloscope is barely showing the actual value. Uh, the only thing I can slightly see, let me see if I can get this somewhere in the middle, is if I zoom in on the voltages here, uh, the, the first voltage here is the potentiometer output. So that's showing 3.04544 volts, and the output from the Arduino is showing 3.01, flickering around a bit, 1.17. So it's about 20, 20 odd, maybe less than 20 milli volts difference, which is fantastic considering that we're only using an 8 bit output. That's a very low, very cheap output, yet we're getting the same amount. So you're probably thinking, well, what's the point? You've got an analog input going to an analog output and it's showing exactly the same thing. What's the point in that? Well, it could be that you want to do something with that input and output to be able to uh, to make it different. Okay, maybe you want to uh, half it. Maybe you want to have a delay so that it's it's delayed a bit. So what we could do is in Arduino here, instead of going up to the full 255, we could uh, change this value so it goes to 127. So it's only half. Okay, so let's have a look and see what that does. Let's upload this. Okay, that's gone up to our uploading, done uploading. Okay, so let's see what this now does. Okay, so here on our oscilloscope now, we've got actually, uh, it should show half. So here we've got, let me see if I can get this to go to exactly three volts. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, that's very close. There we are, so that's 2.996 volts and we're getting 1.4 volts out. So there we go, we've done some signal conditioning. So there you go, so what we've done is we've taken an analog input, we've taken it into our microcontroller, done some signal conditioning with it, and then sent it back out as an output as something completely different. Now it could be that you want to have like a delay, or maybe you want to have it so that it only outputs when you're pressing a button as well. Something like that, you can do all sorts of with it once you've got it into the controller, it's all about code after that. So there we go, we've used analog read to be able to read an input. We've even used analog write to be able to control an output. Great. Well, thanks for joining me on this video, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more or get a notification of when I've got more Arduino videos coming out. Um, feel free to share it on social media. Whilst you're there, you can find us at Machine Shop UK on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to visit our website, themachineshop.uk, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.